guys, Teddy here, and today I decided to react to a few very interesting gadgets that I found online. So, you know, TikTok is a place where you post everything, starting from makeup tutorials to people who read books to people who share their daily lives slash vlogs to post about technologies and everything you can possibly think of. So I decided to go there, browse for some very interesting gadgets and share them with you. Some of them might seem a little bit weird for you, it really depends on your perspective, but personally, I think they are very cool and I decided to share them with you. So right now, let's check these gadgets. So the first thing we have is an e-ink phone. Basically, it's a fully functional Android phone that kind of looks like it has been pulled out of a cartoon movie, but this is so cool, so you have to check this out. Look at it. It's Full function, it has all the apps, like you can even download TikTok there. But at the same time, it's in the size of a phone. It kind of reminds me of the remarkable tablet that we all know, but just in a phone. Yes, it obviously it will be black and white, like with e-ink, you don't have colors. But at the same time, it looks cool. Like even has a camera. God knows what the camera will be on this device, but it's incredible. Like. The fact that such thing exists, I don't think how many people will use it, but to be honest, I have to say that it's good for watching videos, calling people, and God knows what else you can do. Yeah, for filming, probably your videos will be black and white, but the fact that such a device exists, and probably it's five times cheaper than an iPhone, like, what else do you expect from this device? Next, we have one of the craziest tech gadgets that exist, according to the person in the video. So basically, this is a phone stand that also can work as a tripod and does multiple functions. Like, you have to check this out. It looks so cool. I don't know if this is an advertisement or he just really likes this device. But the fact that it really follows you everywhere and acts like stabilization mode, like, it's so cool. And I feel like you have a camera, like... Yeah, Insta360 has been very popular around the years, so the fact that you kind of have this built in the device, it looks crazy, but just like, look at this. It literally for every creator that wants to improve their skills, like, you need this device on your own. Probably you can find this on Amazon, I believe, because let's be honest, Amazon has everything, but it's the perfect device for small creators like me and possibly you. Do you remember our e-ink phone? Well, now we have an e-ink tablet. So basically, take all the features that a regular tablet has, put them in this device and call it a yes. Probably a little cheaper, but at the same time, it looks very cool. You have to check this one out. So at least we have a little bit more colors. It's not from the same brand as the phone, but this one looks more like the remarkable tablet that we all know and are familiar with. It even has a camera. Imagine what the camera on this thing will look like. like I don't even want to imagine. It comes with a stylus because iPads usually don't come with the Apple Pencil. You have to buy it separately. So good news for this. Like you can watch videos as you can see. Maybe subscribe to his channel as well. Like it kind of feel like it works a little bit slow, but maybe because it's e-ink, not a regular tablet. But hello, look at this. The camera though. Honestly, it doesn't look that terrible considering that it's an e-ink tablet, not a regular one. So, comment down below if you would actually buy such a tablet or you prefer the regular one which has more colors. This might be one of the craziest and weirdest things in my opinion that I have ever seen when it comes to technology. This is a bendable phone. I'm not talking about the foldable or the flip phones that Samsung has. No, a bendable phone. You have to see this. It looks so weird to me like it's like a giant smartwatch and the question is how the screen is not breaking literally if you do this to a regular phone the screen will shatter but this is made some sort of weird technology that allows you to bend it's by motorola yes we can see i'm not surprised they have interesting concept ideas but this is weird like it's like literally a giant smartwatch and my question is what is the purpose of this like why? So I can say, oh, hello, or something like, what? I really don't have any words. Yeah, it sticks to a magnetic band or something, this is what it looks like. It works like a regular phone, it's just bands, and I guess 
the back of the phone is something like soft material so you can kind of like feel more like it's a smartwatch if this is Motorola's way of having smartwatches personally that's such a big screen for me I definitely wouldn't buy it but I see the concept I see the idea let's just say that it's not my style but hey there are, I'm pretty sure there are people who are actually buying this I watched as a kid iCarly Victorious Salmon Cat you know what coming next literally when I was a kid probably around 10 years old I wanted this so bad because it looked so realistic and now growing up I know this is fake and such things doesn't exist but shout out to the creators of this show who made this look so realistic so this my friends is brand new pair phone literally a childhood dream like I wanted this so bad that I even made it out of cardboard but the fact that such things like exist yes probably people are selling props of course they're not functioning devices i believe that their pair pad was just a gigantic ipad with green screen or the fact that they had pair laptops which are probably a macbook just with a case and cut out a pair or something but i really wanted this as a kid and even when i grow up and i know that this doesn't work i still want to have it to flex with and say look i have my own pair phone so Comment down below if you actually wanted this when you were a kid. Speaking about phones, I might say that they might be the dirtiest object that we have. We leave our phones everywhere. For example, in the pocket of your jeans, in the kitchen counter where you're cooking and literally making a mess, on a table, we're going outside with our phones. So we can technically wash our phones because not all of them are water resistant. So there might be a way you can do that. So this so-called Toaster is actually a phone sanitizer and I have seen videos of people mostly they are filmed in Japan where in the bathroom They have phone sanitizer just like this one. So basically what it does it takes your phone and Cleans it so you can take it nice fresh and clean Which is also a good thing because let's be honest there are germs everywhere so why don't you clean your phone as Ridiculous it seems, actually I might say that it's a good idea because it's good for your health, first of all, to keep your gadgets clean and let's be honest, how many of us clean our phones on a daily basis? And no, I'm not talking to clean your screen, just to sanitize it. You know when COVID was a thing, we were using hand sanitizers on our hands daily, so why don't we use this on our gadgets? And because we use our phones most of the time compared to other gadgets, we might keep it clean as well. The next gadget is something that we all have at home, but I'm pretty sure we don't have it on the same style as people in Nigeria have. So this, my friends, is a hat. So what I say, yes, it's just a regular hat. What's so special about it? Well, it's something that I have never seen in my entire life and I did know this existed. So this hat has a billion fan. It has a fan. So when you're in the summer, you want your eyes to be protected from the sun, you also might get some cold air. Well, I'm not sure it will blow cold air if you are out in the sun, but the fact that this thing, and it literally says fan on the cap as well. It's a little bit ridiculous, to be honest. Imagine walking like this, people will be staring at you. But at the same time, it might be a good idea. Well, obviously, yeah, she uses a blush right here. But it's not from the fan, but it has to, I see the concept. I see the idea. It's practical in some ways, ridiculous in others, but the fact that people get so creative with so simplistic objects, literally they put technology, even in the simplest thing, I expect technology in the food after some time. I don't know how they're gonna make it happen. So the fact that this thing exists, and I don't know how cheap this is, or maybe I should say how expensive, but you can store it pretty much everywhere, and yes, some people will say it's a dumb idea, some people will say that's the coolest thing ever for summer. I was like, it's in between. I see the concept, I just don't see how many people will buy this. Okay guys, that will be video. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below which is your favorite and weirdest gadget that I show you on this video. I have to say, again, it's the photo before. I just don't see myself having one, maybe I should say wearing one on my wrist. And also the next question that popped up in my head is, if I put a phone case on this phone, can it bend? 
And how can I be sure that the screen won't crack? Yes, it literally showed on the video that it works fine. There is nothing wrong with the screen. Thank you, Motorola. But I still have my doubts. For it. But anyway, that will be the video. I hope you enjoyed. Please smash that like button. I can like this video. Share it with friends. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Turn on the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. And I'm going to see you next time. Bye.